Erin Hamill tightened the belt of her robe with one hand and juggled her coffee cup with the other. She padded up the stairs, slowing outside the door to her daughter's room. Swallowing a slug of coffee, she banged on the door with her fist. Get up, Nat. Hearing nothing, she banged again and raised her voice. Now! With a sigh, she crossed the hall to her son's room. Jeremy, leaving for church in half an hour. This time, she was rewarded with a groan. In her own room, she sat down at the thrift store table she'd set up in the corner. Makeup, brushes, and a large magnifying mirror crowded the surface. Her ex-husband wouldn't have liked the addition or the clutter, but his opinion didn't matter anymore. She gave her cheeks a final swipe of blush and slipped into a gray shift dress and black flats. A glance at her watch told her she was close to being late. She hurried out of her room and down the stairs. Jeremy stood hunched over the sink, spooning cereal into his mouth from a bowl. Why don't you ever sit down to eat? She asked her son. We do still have a table. He slurped another bite, and milk dripped from the spoon. Would you rather I spill on my khakis? She pressed her lips together. What she wanted was for them to sit down to breakfast together like a normal family. But normal had stopped being possible a long time ago. And he was right about the pants. They were so threadbare that another washing might put a hole in them. And she couldn't afford a new pair until her next paycheck. Where's your sister? His narrow shoulders rose and fell. How should I know? Not again, she muttered under her breath. Things were hard enough without Natalie thumbing her nose at everything Aaron wanted her to do. Going to church was something she wanted for all of them. It wasn't that she was the religious sort, but since the divorce, she'd known she needed something that counted as support, and therapy was expensive. A couple of hours each Sunday wasn't, so she dragged her children with her. She enrolled them in the youth group and joined a Bible study. Jeremy seemed to understand her need to cling to something solid, but Natalie had fought her from the beginning. Erin could still remember her daughter's attitude, the way it had radiated off of her, teenaged scorn oozing from every pore.